Do you remember how tender you were when you first got married, when you first started dating? And the person that you were in love with, they could do no wrong. Like, oh, it's okay, honey, don't worry about it. I can get it, I can do it. Oh, don't worry about it, honey, it's, it's no problem. You see, when, when your life is full of love, the person that you love can do no wrong. But when you're angry and resentful and, bitterness, and filled with bitterness, the person that you love can do no right. You see, bitterness hardens our hearts, and it takes away that, that tenderness makes us tough. On the way back home from the Indiana Men's Retreat this past weekend, I, uh, I stopped and got a burger and they asked, how do you want it cooked? And I said, I want it medium because I don't want it to be tough. Now, some of you, you like your, your meat cooked differently. and Some of you, you like it just absolutely well done so it's like a charred grilled brick. And some of you, you like it rare so it's just like barely heard the cow and then put it on a plate. Now, we can all disagree about how tender or how tough or how well done or how rare we want our meat, but no one likes a tough heart. Everyone enjoys being around people who have a tender heart. And Paul says, be kind, be tender, forgive one another. And the best way to come to grips with forgiveness is, is to experience it firsthand. And that's the reason that Paul gives us his inspiration. Be ye kind, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Even as God has forgiven you for Christ's sake. God forgave me, not for my sake, but for Jesus' sake. God forgave me not because I deserved it, but because of Jesus. 